How's it guys? This is Bevan here and uh, I'm standing in the Afro Montane forests around Hogsback and today what I'd like to show you guys is how to call an arena trogan. Now an arena trogan is one of those like really prized sighting kind of birds like if you see one you're really excited about it but they're super hard to spot uh, if you're walking around and um, in fact you're more likely to hear one than to see one. So what I'll show you is just what I've learned in terms of their call and a couple of tips as well that go with kind of spotting them. Um, just maybe to get first things first, I'm no birder or anything like that. Um, the only reason I even take interest in this kind of stuff is because I tend to find myself in environments such as this quite often. So it really enhances this experience of what I'm doing as if I understand what's around me. So that's the only reason I even know this. Beyond this, yeah, <laughs> there's probably loads of guys who can tell you more about birds than I can. But in any case, here we go. So, number one, firstly, you obviously need to be in the right environment. The Rita Trogans love the forest. Um, we've spotted them in the coastal forests in KwaZulu Natal, uh, in the scarp forests, which are kind of at 400 meters above sea level, um, even higher up into mist belt forests. And uh, we've seen them in sand forests near Tembi. Um, up in the Sabi area, right up Toyando in Limpopo, we've really seen them everywhere. But kind of the the most common spot I'd say for them is in forests just like this. In fact, I'm not sure if it comes off on the mic here, but you can hear one sort of in the distance here even. So they really hang out here. They sit really still. They've got a nice bright chest, but green on the outside. So if you're in an environment like this, as I say, keep your ears pricked up because you're likely to hear one and if you do my feeling anyway is is that they're really nearby because a call is really distant it's kind of like it's not a piercing sound like a lot of the songbirds it's a very like distant sound that it's a bit rhythmical and if you're not really aware of it you might even miss it in the background noises so yeah first things first get yourself in the right environment listen out for one and if you can hear one the chances are really really good that you can call one in so here goes Here's, here's the three methods I use and I really pick and choose between these two and you can pick the one that you like or the one that you can do some people battle with the hands others are battle with the whistle so really just go with what suits you might sound a bit weird but I kind of pick the method according to the accent of the particular bird I'm hearing kind of sometimes they sound a bit higher pitched to me and anyway but these ones have, have really worked well so the first method is the cupped hands and you basically just take your hands like so, all right? Put them over each other. And make a nice little cup. You're gonna make like a chamber inside here where you're gonna blow wind into. And then you just leave a little gap between your thumbs. You don't wanna close that up. You just keep these thumbs a little bit bent. You can see that gap there. I find the wider the gap, the more um, or the less sort of distinct the sound. So it's actually quite like the Narina Trove. It's very distant. As soon as you cut that in, it becomes quite a bit stronger. So here goes, we'll start, let's see if we can call our, our friend in from far there. Here's the, the first method. Alright, and while you're doing this, you're doing coupled tones, and it's just really going. You're not blowing out your, you're not pursing your lips and going. It's just like a, feel your cheeks go. Alrighty, straight into, into that gap there. Here we go. Okay, generally 12 to 16 sort of iterations of that sound um, and then listen out as well, see if you get a response. Nine times out of ten, what I uh, it generally find happening is as soon as you hear the direction that the call is coming from, you just get yourself into a place where there's a nice clearing in front of you, face the call, do yours and I'd say nine of the ten sightings we've had has been when the actual Narina Trogan is, is jumping from tree to tree on its way towards you. So keep your eyes up, open, take a look around, and repeat that, as I say, 12 to 16 times. So I'll go again. Okay. <laughs> we'll, this 
is a bit of a thick sort of section here so it's kind of hard to spot them in any case but I'll move on to the next one it's very similar but instead of cupping your hands together you just lock your fingers around like that it's exactly the same sort of um, principle you're making a chamber inside your hands and you're going to leave that little gap just some people prefer this uh, I must say I don't use this much but some guys do same thing again I see him right there and you, you you're probably not going to spot it on this camera but straight through there you might see a little dash of red our little friend has just come to visit there <laughs> okay so <laughs> I must say I really wasn't expecting that to be honest <laughs> I was just kind of demoing but I did hear a guy a little further back and now he's come so I'll take this opportunity to show you the last technique and that's just a whistle um, but again, you don't want to purse your lips like you're whistling. You want to keep your, your cheeks full and your mouth fairly open. And you, it's almost like you're blowing big drafts of air out your mouth. You know, almost like a wind sound coming out of there. And then you want to cup your hand in front of your mouth. Aim it at where the calls come from. I can still see him sitting in the tree there. And here we go. It's actually, <laughs> I can't actually believe the luck here. This is the fourth one we see today using a variety of these calls. So we're probably going to go and sit and watch this guy for a little bit. But just to reiterate, it's the hands cupped around, making the chamber and keeping the gap out there. And a nice two, 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 two as you go. All right. Fingers locked. Same again. Open thumbs. Nice forceful blows. And then obviously the last one, just with the mouth. All right. And just emulate that. Play it over and over. Practice it. Give it a go. And next time you're in the forest and you hear the Narina Trogan calling, just give it a try. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, but maybe on that note, it's worth saying that once you do call an individual in, um, and you've seen it and it's jumped around and you can kind of spot it just let it be after that if it decides to fly off don't keep calling it um, you don't really want to disrupt their habits too much so yeah once you've seen one and it's uh, kind of come out in the open you've had a good sighting just let it be and that's how you call in an Arita Trogan and very <laughs> I'm quite stoked to say we called one in during the demonstration so that's yeah that's fantastic <laughs> all right cheers